<laughs> Wait, we have to do three parts a day. We're reading too slow. We're talking. That's why I kind of figured sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the readings have some really long chapters. So I guess we have to make a part three sometime for a day. And sometimes it's a shame just to skim over it. Sometimes something right. jumps out and you feel like you really need to talk about right. it. So bear with us. We're almost done. Verse 38. You have heard that it was said, eye for eye and tooth for tooth. Mm -hmm. But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If someone strikes you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. And if someone wants to sue you and take your tunic, let him have your cloak as well. If someone forces you to go one mile, go with him two miles. Give to the one who asks you and do not turn away from the one who wants to borrow from you. Wow, I have some problems with that. I really don't like being slapped in the face, so I really wouldn't want to turn the other cheek and get slapped in the face on the other side. Yeah, you got lots of coats. You can give them your coat. The one you have on, the one in your closet. Depends the one if it's cold shed, or not. The one in your car. Depends how cold it is. <laughs> and you'd still have a few colds left. I could, I could handle going the extra mile. Yeah, yeah. Depending yeah. on how much I'm carrying. Because I'm only a slight built guy. <laughs> and you could give away a few coats too. Oops. The yeah. dinger donger is saying 10 o'clock at night. No, 11 o'clock at night. Say 11 o'clock. Here we go. Okay. Finish. Love your enemy. Love friends. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemy and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. He causes his son to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. If you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Are not even the tax collectors doing that? And if you greet only your brothers, what are you doing more than others? Do not even um, do not even pagans do that. Pardon me. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Be perfect, as your heavenly Father, therefore, is perfect. That's a big, <sighs> big request. I got into a discussion with that on a lady one time, but I'm not going into it. Yeah, I'm not, curious. No way. So, what? You said you were perfect, or you couldn't be perfect, or give me a hint. The word here says, "Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect." And I think, as we grow and grow and grow and grow and grow in the Lord, we're growing closer to that but that we will never achieve that until we're in the presence of God. And this person is saying, be perfect, therefore, as your Father in heaven is perfect. What's perfect mean? I don't know. You know, and as, the word as. Um, in similar fashion. Like, I know that it says further on in the scripture that we are perfected in Christ. So Paul says, I can do um, nothing. You know, I can do all but, things with him who strengthens me. I can do nothing. But we still live in this mortal body. But he says God looks at the heart, not at the flesh, I understand right? that. So, but the body and the heart are at constant conflict all the time. That's, yeah. So while we're here on this earth. So once we leave this earthly body, maybe then we can be perfect. But until we leave this body, I don't think so. So that's that's the the seesaw I have within me about this, and I haven't gotten an answer yet. But if Jesus came to give us grace and forgiveness and, and make us white as snow, and He says when He prayed in John, "Let them be one as You and I are one." If we're one, uh, and God's Spirit's that. living in us. Um, but I'm still living in this body, and I make mistakes. Okay, let me give you a day. mortal example here. When I met you and fell in love with you, you probably had lots of flaws, but to me you were perfect because love what? was blind. All it saw Boy. was everything good about you, right? When did your blinders fall off? You've been married to me for 20 <laughs> years now. And so, <laughs> and so, if God loves us and, and we're perfected in Christ, maybe his love is blind too when we have a relationship with him. 
And so he only sees. I don't think Gonzo was playing. Well, I'm I'm talking about. You're trying to trying to explain something. I don't mean but, yeah. he's he's uh, we're on the scene to him. I mean he chooses to. Like I'm not blind okay, to his can, laws, but I choose. I can I can see that uh, to, what you're meaning that you're choosing to see with the eyes of love. That it, but it, but more than that, he sees the finished deed. <laughs> He doesn't, he doesn't just see the, the starting faith. He sees the finished faith. Like we look well, at that, I only see the in process faith. But look at Abraham. He's called the father of faith, right? Yeah, we no, look at his No, we haven't history. read that yet. Well, it'll say he's the father of faith. But historically... <laughs> can't go ahead. When we're reading it, we only go by what we got ahead. When we look at his mortal experience on earth, it's, in our opinion, far from it. Because as we read the other day, he was a coward and gave his wife to a harem, uh, you know, and uh, from a woman's perspective. That was that terrible. Was a little short of that perfect. was a terrible thing. Yet, God told us to look at him with the eyes of love and see the finished product. That he, he, whatever he was sent to do, he did it. And so therefore, and maybe it's the more feminine, mortal perspective on being perfect. More like being perfected. Well, we'll see. Hang in there. Stay with us. We're tired. <laughs> and Anyhow. Stay hold my head up. We need it's to a go. Long weekend, long journey. Six o'clock comes early. Yeah. Be blessed. Thanks for joining us. Join in again tomorrow. And that uh, will be bright eyed and. Bye, friends. Yeah. Blessings. <laughs> Blessings. Take care. Good night.